Kilbunga dudes, this is Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I'm here with my friend, Mr. T. Hey, what's up? And we're here to talk to you about bones. Yeah, pay the fool doesn't know about bones. All right. So, Mr. T. Yeah, what's up? I hear that we're supposed to learn about bones. Yes, yeah, that's what I said. Mm. Okay, all right, Mr. T. Well, here's the first thing we're going to do, dudes. All right. Appendicular skeleton. Mm, what about it? Well, did you know that the appendicular skeleton is all the stuff that helps us move around? Mm, I pray the fool doesn't know about the appendicular skeleton. Mm. All right, Mr. T. Can you tell me a bone that you can find in the appendicular skeleton? Say what? I, I said, can you tell me a bone that you can find in the appendicular skeleton? You, you're trying to make a fool, Mr. T? Mr. You're gonna, you're gonna break your arm. That's right, Mr. T. The arm is in the appendicular skeleton. You could say the arm bone. You know, if you don't want to use technical terms. The arm bone, the leg bone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what Mr. G said, yeah, the yeah, arm bone, arm bone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. G, that's pretty good. So we know the appendicular skeleton has all the stuff that helps us move around. Like the arms, hands, feet, fingers, hips, pelvis, same thing. Feet, toes, all that stuff is on the appendicular skeleton. Yeah, that's right, that's what I said. That's right, that's, that's what Mr. T said, yeah, yeah. All right, Mr. T, what about the axial skeleton? The axial skeleton. Yeah, Mr. T knows the axial skeleton. The axial skeleton. That's what I said, the axial skeleton. <laughs> All right, Carol Bunga, Mr. T. All right, can you tell me a bone that you can find in the axial skeleton? Say what? I said, can you tell me a bone that you can find in the axial skeleton, Mr. T? Uh, you trying to make a fool of Mr. T? Mr. T gonna crack you upside the head, fool! Did you say head? That's right, fool, I'm gonna crack you upside the head! Hey, Mr. T, that's right! It, it, the head is on the axial skeleton! Say what? The head, or the cranium, sometimes called skull, is found in the axial skeleton. Uh, that's right, that's what Mr. T said. And the crack you upside the cranium, boom. That's right. You see, all the organs that are important to live are found inside of the axial skeleton. See, see what? All the organs, important ones, like our brain. That's right, our brain. Our brain's born. Eat your weedies. And the heart. That's right. Gotta have heart. And your liver. That's right, take care of your liver, kids and all kinds of, all the important things inside your body that you need to live. Think about it this way. If you were hit in one of your important organs, what would happen, Mr. T? What do you mean, like my prediction? Yes, what would be your prediction? My prediction, pain. Yes, a lot of pain, Mr. T, but you would also probably be dead. That's right, bro, don't get hit inside of the organs that are protected by your exoskeleton. That's right, Mr. T. That's probably good advice for anybody. <laughs> what? What did you say about my mama? I didn't say anything, Mr. T. Uh, 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 uh. Protect your exoskeleton, kids. Uh, 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 uh. And we're back. Hi. This is... Leonardo and uh, Michelangelo is uh, he's uh, uh, sleeping. <laughs> so we're here with our friend Mr. T. Yes, friend Mr. T. And uh, so uh, Mr. T, I guess we were talking earlier about uh, the appendicular and axial skeleton. That's right. The appendicular skeleton have to move, and the axial skeleton it protects all your good stuff, like your heart, brain, liver, and kidney. Mmm! That's actually right, Mr. T. That's, that's really good. 
That's right, Miss G and Dumb. And I pay the food. Then Miss G and Dumb. Don't do drugs. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> That's right, Mr. T. That's good advice for anybody. Now, Mr. T, can you tell me what else your bones are good for? Uh, you mean like uh, making blood? Yes, that's right, Mr. T. Your bones actually do help you make blood. That's right, Mr. T, genius. That's right, Mr. T. You see, bones have stuff inside in the middle of them called bone marrow. Marrow. Can you say that, kids? Marrow. Hey, you in the back. Pay attention. Marrow. That's right, kids. Pay attention. Marrow. Mm. That's right, Mr. T. And you know what? Bone marrow has all the stuff inside of it that you need to make blood. It has blood. You can make blood cells with bone marrow. That's right. Bones. Keep your bones strong. Drink your milk. That's right, Mr. T. You know what, Mr. T? There's also something very cool about bones. Bones are both hard and light. That's right. Bones are strong and heavy. Wait, what? No, bones are strong and light. But, but they're strong. They're strong and tough. That's right. But they're light. They're light? That's right, Mr. T. Bones are strong because they have compact bone tissue. And bones are light because they also have spongy tissue. That's all that stuff with little holes in it in your bones that helps keep your bones light. Strong, but light. Mmm, Mr. T has a lot of compact and spongy tissue. Make your bones strong and lean. Mm. Say, do you know how many bones we have approximately in our human body? Uh, about, uh, zero. Is the uh, is is, uh, is the arm bone and uh, is uh, the thumb bone and uh, is the uh, collar bone and uh, neck bone. Neck bone's tasty and um, where? Uh, okay, Mr. T. If you didn't know, there are two hundred two hundred six bones in the human body. Uh, excuse me. I said there's 206 bones in the human body. 206. Did you say 206 bones in the human body? Yeah, that's what I said, fool. Wow, you're right. I didn't think you knew that. Why? You think I'm dumb? You talking about my mama? Don't do drugs, kid. Hello. I am Master Splinter. And I'm a stick, fool. And uh, it seems there has been a slight misunderstanding. So I am here to help finish our discussion on bones. That's right. Bones keep you strong. Stay in school, kids. Remember, appendicular skeleton. It helps you move. It helps you throw a right cross. It helps you throw an uppercut to the face. Mm. That's right. Appendicular skeleton. Your arms, legs, hands, feet, and your hips. Mm. That's right, Mr. T. And also, your axial skeleton. Your axial skeleton protects all your vital organs. The bones on the axial skeleton are the ribs, sternum, also the spine, and all the bones in your face, including the cranium or the skull. Stay in school and learn your bones. Take care of them. Drink milk. Stay strong. Arr! That's right. And remember, always do as your mother would say. What? You, you, you talking about my mama? Arr! You know what I do if you want to talk to my mama? What is that? I said, you know what I do if you want to talk to my mama? I'm sorry, kids. Let's listen. And don't mess with the karate master. Remember, kids, stay in school, pay attention in school, and whatever you do, don't mess with the karate master.